quick video tutorial on how to use the RC3 or basically any other loop station since they operate under the same principles. First thing you want to do is hook up your input. On the RC3 input A I have going from my keyboard into the RC3 loop station. On the output, again I'm using output A because that's where my input's going into. That's running out to a speaker. A couple things to know, this inner button here, the inner button on the volume control controls the rhythm volume and the outer button controls the loop, the actual loop you're writing volume. So you want to be, just in case you want to have some rudimentary mixing capability there. The other thing I'm going to show you about how to tap in a tempo. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you're going to use, if you're going to use rhythm and the actual drums that are inside the RC3 loop station is you can hit the rhythm output button. It's going to give you the very simple first track. If you hold the button down, hold that rhythm button down. Now you're going to see on the display it says R0. Well you can page through any one of a number of rhythms by holding that down. If you want to be faster, you simply hit the tap tempo. You hit the tap tempo to quicken it up. Or if you want to be slower, you choose a slower beat. But you basically tap in the tempo that you want. Very easy and actually pretty cool. I'm actually going to turn off the rhythm because I'm not going to use it. Now let me show you how to do loops with the station. So I'm going to pan out because I'm going to play something very simple. I'm not showing you anything that's great here. I just want to show you how to use it. So when you're going to record a loop, you really want to count in when you so when you hit that button to start recording that you're on time. So basically, let's count it. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I play a couple measures before I hit a loop. And when I do, what I do to record is I'll simply start on one and I'll end on one as well, my next in the next measure. So one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can see both buttons are lighting up. I didn't do that perfectly, but you see that we're now in a loop. If you want to record another portion of that song, you simply start at the same time. When both these buttons are lit up, that means you're recording the next loop. Now this first loop could be 10 seconds or 20 seconds, whatever you want. I just recorded one measure, four bars. So basically, I'm going to wait to the first one. So I'm going to stop. When I want to stop it, I'm going to click once. It'll keep playing, but it won't record anything else. So if I wanted to practice a loop, I could do that. So let me turn that down. So very simply, let me just show you the steps again. When I want to stop it, I hit it twice. So I hit the, the pedal two times. Let's say I totally hated that song. I would simply hold the right key down until I see DL. That means delete. Press it again and you'll see one light up or you'll see the track number light up. That means that you have completely erased that track. Um, so let's start again. Let me show you one more time. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now it's recorded that loop. One, two, three, four. Now you see the second loop on there. So I got three loops on there. When I want to stop, hit it two times and I can stop. If I want to play it again, hit the pedal once and it's playing the loop that I created. Now let's say I stop this. How do I save this? You simply hit the track key, you hit the right key, so the same key, instead of holding it down, you hit it very quickly and you're going to see you are. I hit it again and the one lights up or the track lights up. That means that this is saved. So I can go to any other of the 99 banks and I can come back and that will be there. I hope this tutorial came in helpful for you. I know it took me about an hour to learn how to use this and I wish there was a manual or some tutorial out there. I hope this was helpful. Remember. You hit it once to start recording, you hit it again to record the second loop or third loop or fourth loop, and you hit it twice to stop it.